ever. Their way of living here is based on honesty, simplicity and openness. Does their world end where the water stops? How could the soul of the country have been so well preserved here? This is the cutting knife. Can this truly be harmony and content, even without democracy? Maybe the people here, with their religion and their attitude to life, are freer than we are with our restrictive regulations that are supposed to protect us. But then, strange things happen. Yes, a friendly reunion like every year. For the ice cream vendor, this is his first encounter with the modern world. A bit of a shock, and not without risk. This is Burma more than five times the size of England. An international balloonist group first visited Myanmar in 1998. Undeterred by critical press reports about the military regime, they wanted to get a bird's eye view of reality. They've been coming every year for 13 years now. First encounters have turned into lasting friendships. But what impressions do these fiery hot air balloons from afar make on the people here? Do they awaken their dreams, their yearnings for freedom? And how do these people live their day-to-day -day lives? Buddha taught us that loving kindness is not classified, that it should be disseminated to all four points of the compass throughout the universe. <laughs> And that is just a dream for us. I dream of it, but it's far away from my life here. I sell this here. Can you show me? Stone necklaces. Labour is cheap, but bread is dear. I live in poverty. This river trip takes more than a day, so we have to spend the night on the raft. When it is windy, we have to make an offering to the spirits before embarking. Banana, pickled tea leaves and coconut. This offering guards us from every evil and misfortune. I simply want to go ballooning as well and feel happy and free up in the air for once. I think they, they come here to learn. Perhaps harmony and tenderness have survived the ravages of time. Well, maybe because the modern world has been shut out.